Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Some of you have been in hermit mode or you're about to go in hermit mode. I'm getting where maybe you should go in hermit mode. You may need to pull back so that you can be propelled for it. By going into hermit mode, you really may have some type of epiphany about something that's going to change your life as far as your security and stability. I, I feel for a lot of you right now, you definitely could be considering um, changing something with your, your job or um, creating some type of business plan. You know, I know this time of year where people start to do you know, their vision boards and things like that. Make sure that you are prioritizing those things. The Seven of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, I do feel like there there's this um, this energy around you of, of people who are kind of, like I just said, scheming and scamming sort of. And this has caused you to not really have the peace of mind that you want. Okay, you could have actually lost something due to someone trying to get over on you. And this could make you feel... Um, a little bit hesitant right now to take a leap of faith into something new but it looks like right now because the knight of swords is right underneath that that you need to be very driven very focused okay something here is going to come at you quickly that's going to require that you make a decision so you don't really want to focus too much on the negative with the five of cups being here yeah release so for some of you you've been bamboozled by something or someone okay there's been something here that, that did not work in your favor perhaps you're being and this could have been in the past you're being advised right now to definitely not focus on the negative to manifest this new beginning for yourself okay whatever this ending is it led to a new beginning so you need to release you know people places things or various situations as well as the emotions that you still hold for those situations some of you could have found out the truth about a person that you were seeing or that you were in a relationship with okay you know it could have been a situation where you thought it was really going to go the distance and it didn't maybe this person they lied to you all right you're needing to release this situation for some of you these people who have lied to you and betrayed you they're going to be rushing back into your life because you have something really big that's happening there's definitely something from your past though or, or several things yeah it, it caused you to lose your peace of mind here, but the Page of Cups and the Awakening card here, which is the Hangman, yeah. There's some type of, for some of you, there's some type of offer, I feel, that was presented to you. Someone could have been, like, breadcrumbing you, honestly, and I feel like you were very open-hearted, very tender um, about this situation, okay? This was something that you had to experience, and perhaps it pushed you into an awakening or this other person, all right. But for some of you, like I said, there's a situation where you you've perhaps lost something and. Yeah, it was like a setback for a comeback. You now, though, should be gaining more insight and awareness now about how to deal with a particular situation if it should come up again something here was it put you in a stalemate situation so there is a divine feminine here an empress whether you're male or female for some of you there's some type of small offer a gesture a connection with someone or something like that it caused you to slow down i feel okay or there is something being presented to you and it's hard for you to make a decision about it if this isn't something it feels like it's something that's coming back though that you're you're trying to reflect on whether or not you should do this it's been very difficult for you to make a decision about something or someone my my right ear just started ringing really really loud it's like you're needing to follow your heart of course <clears throat> hmm whatever this is i, I just feel like you're kind of stuck in this yeah you need to rest and retreat the four of swords here and really heal something here you haven't fully healed from it because i feel like you're still sort of stuck in analysis paralysis like trying to figure out is this good is it bad should you move forward or or not and spirit is saying you need to get very focused about your own goals and dreams and quickly move forward here yeah the high priestess you're gonna have to trust your intuition about this situation This could have something to do with an exchange of resources. You guys could have given someone an idea. You could have given someone money or something and it, or invested in something and it just did not turn out the way that you had hoped. 
but there's something very beautiful coming in because if you choose to not focus on the negative or the past and you quickly make a decision now you have these sudden unexpected changes here so you need to kind of watch your money for some of you because it looks like here the ace of cups the ace of swords look at this the nine of cups and then the nine of swords wow and the ten of cups two 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 significant endings and two beginnings here something is a completion the number 10. you have two nines and two aces with the high priestess out here something here is being divinely guided okay you're needing to go within though and trust your intuition you, you're going through a major spiritual awakening right now so there's a breakthrough for some of you there's a big breakthrough that's coming through for you emotionally when it comes to your home life your family your love life even you're finally overcoming some type of obstacle. So there could have been some really, really bad betrayal in the past with someone that you loved and you had hoped it would go the distance. You're about to receive a major breakthrough now, but you're needing to be able to see something very clearly here. Remain objective in this situation. Again, Mercury retrograde, you have people that will present themselves to you again. You have new love here new emotional experiences even if it's not a relationship you just have things coming towards you that's going to make you very happy some of you your psychic gifts are definitely developing at a very rapid pace the nine of swords here whatever you've been stressed out worried about that has caused you to be anxious or confused you don't have to be because here's the nine of cups and then the ten of cups so something here that has you worried is going to work out perfectly for you what is this stress let me get this other card here. Yeah, the world at the bottom of this deck. Something here is, is completed. You've already overcome some type of obstacle here. Even if it doesn't look like it, you've passed some type of test. Eight of Swords here. You're just in your head now. Something has already switched and changed. You're just in your head about it. What is this Nine of Swords? What is this about? This Nine of Swords, Two of Swords energy being still stuck at a crossroads it's, it's causing a stalemate here is this spell work for some of you mm -hmm. the fool like i said you're free I, I don't know what the what the deal is you're free there's a very positive turning point here so like i said there is nothing here that's what made me wonder like is this spell work because this is a huge illusion here you're not you're not stuck Someone feels like they're stuck. Oh, I can't make a decision. No, you're not stuck. You're just not, you're just not taking action. You're not moving because you're stuck with isolating yourself in this analysis paralysis type of energy. Someone here, you're delaying yourself. Justice has already been served for a brand new. Look at this. Look, you see this? You have the ace of cups and the ace of wands here. Here you have the ace of cups and the ace of swords. In a different deck, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords that came. So this is all new energy. The Aces keep coming out in doubles like this with the Justice card in, in the middle. So you're receiving justice here for a brand new passionate be, um, beginning. Something that's very emotionally fulfilling is coming towards you. You are free from whatever this toxic cycle is. All right. So there's a, a man here on this card, Nine of Swords. You can have someone that is very stressed out about the fact that you're having this new beginning. But you need to be mindful of, yeah, trust your intuition and go with and It may feel like this isn't your energy. That's the problem here. This is, I'm like, is this spell work? Because it's a huge illusion. You're not stuck. Someone is, is possibly projecting some type of energy onto you that is making, yeah, someone is spying on you. Someone is spying on you and they're projecting these illusions towards you to make you think that you're stuck. Divine Feminine, you've already healed. Whatever this stalemate situation is, you were deceived perhaps, but you've gone through an awakening. Yeah, it may have set you back, but it put you on the right track. So stop allowing yourself to think that, that you're stuck. You're not. This is someone projecting energy onto you because you have healed. You are resting and retreating. You're free. You can go and do anything that you want to do. For some of you, this is some type of um, like soulmate contract that you have. It's null and void. It's been ripped up in the ethers. And this person, they're watching you and monitoring you. And, and they, they're hoping that you will be delayed. This is someone doing this on purpose. Somebody is seeing your awakening as well. And they're like, wow. Yeah, Ada, so what did I just say? Somebody here is watching you. Some of you also, you could be off the grid. Someone knows that you're going through some type of awakening, but they don't know what your next move is. And it has them very 
worried right now because someone has possibly been like making a plan to come towards you, but you're expecting something else because you've already closed out this cycle. This person doesn't know how to approach you. Yeah, you've closed out this cycle and you're going towards the ultimate wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're protected. This So yeah, somebody here is watching you, stalking you, spying on you. They're stressed out because they cannot penetrate you. They can't get into your energy. They don't know what your next move is. The high priestess, you're very, very mysterious to people right now. But I'm pretty sure, especially if there is some type of spell work or manipulation that's involved in this situation, these individuals can tell whatever they're monitoring that you're not pressed about anything, okay? And they don't know what you're doing next. I, that's what I'm saying. Some of you are definitely like off the grid or it may help you. You've released a situation. You've released someone energetically and emotionally. They can't tap into your energy. And that has them very, very afraid right now because what's coming is all these aces. You, there's four aces out here. The ace of cups is out here twice. So you definitely have something very beautiful and, and fulfilling that's happening within your family and your home life. Some of you, you have proposals, marriages, long-term committed relationships that are coming. Okay. Like everything that you ever, it's like your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are becoming a reality. Like all of your wishes are coming true. It's like the stars have aligned and, and whoever has been trying to watch and monitor your life, they, they're not getting access to you. They, they can't see what's going on. So it's, it has become harder for them to block you. The eight of sword. I'm sorry, the eight of wands. Yeah, something here is moving forward very quickly for you. You have this king of pentacles here. All right. Yeah, you're getting away from this six of swords. Yeah, and here's the magician. You're moving away from this stronghold with whatever, whoever this person is. Friend, family member, lover. A lot of you, it's a lover. Yeah, someone here is quite accomplished, I feel. Someone here is a very skilled magician, honestly. They're a very powerful manifester and they are a skilled magician. This person is blocked off from your energy, though, because this cycle with them has closed. This person did not want to use their gifts, talents, or abilities to move forward to peaceful, calm waters with you. And so now you're getting the hell out of Dodge and you're out of there. They can't do anything with you anymore. And they're upset about it. Yeah, because you're, you're psychic. You're very loving, caring, kind, compassionate, extremely nurturing, but nine of wands, but you're not playing any games with anyone. You're putting your armor up. You're not allowing these attacks to come towards you. Your spiritual team isn't allowing it either. That's what, yeah, your ancestors, your spirit guys, they're constantly getting you out of whatever this is. Somebody, they cannot, they can't trap you. It's like these people, they want to corner you off and, and trap you because most likely the seven of swords came out first. They've done this before, possibly multiple times, but because you've gone through this awakening and you've released this situation, you have a brand new beginning here. So whatever somebody, this skilled magician was doing in the past, it's not working now. It's not working at all. Now you have nine, nine, nine. It's three nines out here. So they're saying this cycle is completely over. You have an opportunity now to celebrate the three of cups. Yeah, three of cups, celebrate your brand new beginning. The dreamer. The eight of swords here, five of pentacles. Yeah, someone here was painting the illusion that you would be left out in the cold. You will forever be alone. That you was going to be a, a broke joke is what they, they were hoping for you. But I feel like you continue to work. You continue working, you continue planting good seeds, okay? And now you're going to be rewarded. You're going to be recognized. Things are coming into fruition and to balance for you. You you continue to plan for your future despite the fact that you have these skilled magicians, groups, covens, or whatever working against you. This is a lot of energy being projected towards you. A lot. I mean, these people, they've invested a lot. And it is projections like the five of pentacles is negative thoughts that um, manifest into real challenges. That's why you have to be mindful of what you think about. But you have these skilled magicians that sit around and they just project negative energy onto you so that you will have fears around money, of, around friends, relationships and everything else. And, and most likely what they really want you to do is to just curl up in, in a corner in fetal position and not do anything. I feel that a lot of you, though, you continue to love yourself, nurture yourself. You took a leap of faith, right? And you continue just planting good seeds for yourself, expressing gratitude to the most high. And for that reason, you, you've you been protected the entire time. Somebody thought that you were naive and gullible. Somebody thought you was just a goofball. 
but you're the nine of wands you're a wounded warrior you've learned a lot somebody here you know what i'm hearing it's like this person for some of you and it's multiple people for some of you these people they brought the beast out of you and now they're afraid of it they activated this beast in you and now they're afraid of it they thought you were not even gullible that you were you know yeah <laughs> the lovers there's a transformation ha happening here. The lover's transformation and then the four of cups. Someone here has missed an opportunity with you. They want to try and transform this relationship, but they've missed an opportunity. It took them too long to come in. And for some of you, the things that they've done to you in the past, you can forgive them, but you will never trust them. The four of cups also, too, for some of you is you may be failing to rec recognize that there is a major transformation taking place in a connection here because you're being distracted by this. Some of you, you have something or someone new in your life. Don't miss out on that opportunity because you're too busy focusing on this past situation with someone. Whatever their spell work or illusions are, you really need to continuously detach yourself from that energy when you recognize that someone is playing in your energy because you have an opportunity now to embrace true love. This is, you know, true love in your friendships, your relationships with your, your family members, as well as in your romantic relationships. You get to start making decisions now that are from the heart instead of you being up in arms and paranoid and confused because of what happened to you in the past. That this is a trick to make you self-sabotage. But transformation is here. So something very significant in your life, there's a tower moment that's coming that's going to help you to break free of a situation that has had you caught up. And here's the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, the Chariot card and Balance. The World card is here and the Six of Wands, Justice, Six. Yeah, you're going out of this year with the bang. Yeah, and and the Wise Council. That's, that's just it. You have two sixes here. Literally, the Lovers, Transformation, the Chariot. You're moving forward victoriously. Your hard work is paying off. You will have victory and success. The Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this is all new energy. So if you're worried about something from the past, like it's null and void. This is all new. There's like six different aces out here between two different decks. And we're not even 20 minutes in. This, this is an hour long reading. The two of cups came out with the ace of pentacles. So this is saying that you're going to really be falling in love with someone pretty soon. If you're with someone now, you're taking things to the next level. This is someone that you could possibly have a family with. Start a family with them. Someone wants to give you a very stable offer. It says a windfall of abundance, wise counsel. And here is the wise counselor. So what you are receiving as part of this, this huge gift from the divine is you're receiving an offer from someone who is of wise counsel. This is someone who is, is noble. I'm here noble. This is a type of person who they're very self-aware. They, they put God first. This is the person that you've prayed for. This is the person that will pray over you. This is the person that you can trust. Okay, this, this is the hierophant. This person, they're traditional. They want a traditional type of family. This isn't the kind of person who wants to come in and put you in an unconventional type of relationship or a third party situation. No, you're receiving justice now. Six, six here. Again, balance. You have two nines that came out before and now two sixes. So you're at the end of a situation and everything is being balanced out. The six of pentacles and the six of wands. People are going to really see that you've made really good choices here and all of the good things that you've done, they're coming back to you. So you have a, a lot of abundance that's about to just pour into your life in all areas of your life. And I feel like you're receiving this because even maybe when you didn't have that much or, or, or when you had more than enough, you've always been willing to give to other people. In fact, you were willing to give to the people who hurt you the most. So now you're having balance, peace, and harmony be restored in your life. The world in balance. There are cycles ending here and new cycles coming in there. I mean, are beautiful for you. What else, Spirit? What's coming? Wow. The lovers and death. Look at that. The lovers and the death card came out before. It was the lovers and in this deck is called the transformation. Here it is. Uh -oh. What did I do with it? I just picked it up. But transformation, it came out with the lovers. Here it is. Transformation and the lovers. Death. It's, it's double here. Some of you are about to meet your twin flame. 
or you're connecting with this person. There's a bond here that's unbreakable, the strength card here. It doesn't matter what happened here, how many attacks were, were thrown out there, how many illusions or whatever, it doesn't matter. You're still moving forward away from all of the chaos and the competition. This will not be a missed opportunity with you and this Hierophant. This person could be a Taurus or like I said, this could be just a, a, a seriously God-fearing individual who is, is very spiritual just like you transformation and the lovers so yeah you have a choice now there's going to be a major transformation to happen in your love life your your love life will never be the same so whoever the person is or the people who were spying on you and creating these illusions here here's the witch right here here she is you still heal from this and whatever they did to you in in private they're going to see you level up and be the absolute best version of yourself with this incredible person in public. Yeah, this is the judgment. This is your good karma. Yeah, and they're going to receive karma for what they've done to you. Like I said, in the dark, these people, for some of you, they may want to come towards you and, tr and try to come clean and make apologies here. They may not even come to you and make an apology. But for some of them, I can tell you, they're definitely going to try to reverse some of this spell work. And the stuff that they put out in the universe, uh, you know towards you, you know what I just say what they've put out in the universe they're going to be trying to reverse what they've done they can't because you have to think about it when people project this type of energy if you can break the mold and keep moving that means that whatever they sent out it automatically goes back to them that is the law of, of alchemy that's transmutation no energy is destroyed so you send it out <laughs> and it doesn't hit your target it comes back <clears throat> these people who have worked on your connections they know that they're all at a crossroads now for some of you this is a group i'm getting so much this is a group yeah they're all at a crossroads experiencing endings now but they shouldn't have been bothering you to begin with queen of pentacles the devil yeah somebody here money hungry she's been coming out of every this queen of pentacles devil person and the queen of wands for some of you, this, this is an earth sign person or it doesn't even have to be. Heavy Capricorn energy though. This is someone here who definitely wanted you to be out in the cold with money. Somebody, th this is a group of people, but you have several of them that were doing work on your love life. But you had one person who really, really, really wanted to make sure that they took some money out of your pocket. Yeah, these people here, they wanted you depressed. They wanted you to walk away from your blessings and be burdened. But boom, there you are. The union, the house, new car, new house, new job, new family, new friends. You're getting it all because you turned your back and you walked away from this burdening situation. When you go on a journey like this, when you walk away from everything that is not emotionally fulfilling for you and you make that final push, you're, be, you're rewarded now for that. You have to pick yourself up by the bootstraps here, literally. And your ancestors, your guys, your spiritual team, they're coming in and they're saying what you don't have, what you lack, we're, we, we're picking it all up. You're going to receive double for all of your trouble because you planted good seeds. So everything good that you've done is coming back to you. Look at the synchronicities here. Now we have two sixes once again. Here we have six of pentacles. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Six of pentacles and the six of wands. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, double confirmations here. There is nothing here for you to doubt at all. And for some of you, it's double confirmations, but you and another person are mirroring each other. They will make their way to you, whoever this person is, that you, or whatever this blessing is. For some, it's not always a person. But now you have 666. We are in the year of the number six. 2022 you will not leave out of this year without chapters being closed for you to receive your blessings so please do not entertain things that are not for your greatest and highest good because at this point if you're not receiving what you're supposed to have honestly and you can be mad about it it will be your own fault because the energy is there for you to 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 have and to hold this is so many double confirmations the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups, 
the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles in two different decks. The Death and the Lovers in two different decks. I'm hearing double up. Somebody may be listening to the Nipsey Hustle song, Double Up. Yeah, these people, they never loved you. <laughs> they never loved you. Mm -mm. But you loved yourself. And somebody else is going to be in your life who's going to love you the right way. And like I said, for, for everyone, it's not about a relationship. For some of you, you're going to meet someone that you could have a great business partnership with, a soulmate, somebody that's a part of your soul family. It's just time for you to have good friendship, fellowship, family, and not have to always look over your shoulder. But th this is a group of people. This Seven of Swords, for some of you, this is any. This is between four to seven people who have done this. And I feel like there were different people in this group. They were all assigned something. Several of them were working on you and someone that you're supposed to connect with. But you have a specific person here who is very, very, very threatened by your your financial health. This person, or, or I don't know, like somebody here was doing everything in hopes to get some money. This is a very just money hungry idiot is what it is really. Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody here who was juggling financially. <laughs> Thought they was going to get something, but they can't have your Ten of Pentacles. Your Ten of Pentacles is yours. Yeah, and the moon. And your a lot of your gifts, they've been hidden. Your blessings have been hidden. Look, here's the Queen of Pentacles and the star. The King of Cups and the King of Swords here. And the Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's two different um, masculines that some of you have, which is why the lovers is out here twice. You have a choice. You're, you're blocking one person. This narcissistic person, possibly this, it could be a king of swords that you're blocking out or that you're going towards. This could be a king of swords who's protecting you, but you definitely have someone here who has tried to seduce you, manipulate you. They're not trustworthy. They're not devoted. They're, they just, they don't stand up for you and they're not worthy of you standing up for them. This is someone that you try to defend and protect. Whoever these people are, it was it was always just about money. These people came up against you to gain some type of financial security for themselves. For some, this is a couple. It's a couple and they're a part of some type of group, cult, clan, coven or whatever. These people, they've targeted you and possibly someone else that you're connected to for financial gain. It's going to backfire. It has already backfired. These people are goofy. Yeah, you know, renewal. There you have it. You you can review the past now. Be forgiving and compassionate, but still move in a different direction. You know exactly who you are. You know what your purpose is. You know what you have to do. And these devils, they can't go with you. You can't give these people any of your power. Yeah. Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming in. Somebody is coming in who made an unwise choice. But what they're going to be met with is this emperor from a past life. <laughs> Somebody's going to try to text you, call you, or re-enter your life between now and the next six weeks or so. There's going to be somebody new in your life. And nothing or nobody is going to stop it. Somebody here, a knight of cups, is going to rush in with some type of breadcrumb, small offer. acting. They're going to come in to try and love bomb you, act as though they're going to sweep you off of your feet. Because they made an unwise choice. This person, like I said, they gambled. They gambled you. They they fumbled the bag. This person did everything for money and they've taken a loss now financially. Because they lack integrity. But now you, you know, you're moving in a different direction. You have the emperor and the sun. There could definitely be a significant fire sign person coming against your life, Aries, Leo, or they could have that highly aspected in their chart, though. Someone who's very logical, they're a take charge type of person, someone who's already in some type of leadership role or position. This could be someone that you knew from childhood, someone from your past. Not a toxic situation, but just someone that you crossed paths with before. 
or they could just be coming in from a past life. Yeah. A lot of you, you've had to go into hermit mode to really, really release your, free yourself from a lot of these burdens. Yeah, there's definitely some some situations here that were extremely stressful. This is from a, a group of people for, for a lot of you. Um, so I'm going to pull a few of these and then... Twenty-five, high honor. You're a person of high honor. You're connected with someone of high honor, the lovers. Yeah. So there's a very um. There is a um a, a a very spiritual connection here. Distant horizons. Sorry. This person could live at a distance. They could be coming from a distance, or this is what you have to look forward to. This person could um, have a different race or background. They could be foreign. You could be foreign. You, you and this person, you come from different places. Adjudication. Yeah, there's going to be justice served, though, when it comes to this situation here that you've been unable to embrace. Honestly, there's a change coming. The people who have been trying to block you. Yeah, the false people who have been trying to block you. These people, they're going to find themselves imprisoned. They, they they won't be able to make any more moves to block you from, from this new beginning here. House. Yeah, security, stability, and a brand new beginning. It's over. It's done. It's yours. Toil and labor. All of the work that these people have done to try and create all of these, uh, all this misfortune in your life is dead. It's over and, and done with. Yeah. Look, they're going to be in despair. The, everything that they wanted to happen to you, they're going to. It's going to happen to them tenfold. Yeah, because you did your work to be on your pathway, and they didn't. 